Can you take that pot of tea up to room 13? It's Jake, not Jack. Yeah, who cares anyway? Right, see the pot of pans up there? There's a leather there. Can you get them down ready for later? Yeah. Right, sweet. Uh, yeah, put a 10 on and 5 on the please, mate. Yeah, sweet. What's this problem? Oh, he's almost like that. He's always betting on two of them. He's really about 16. Nearly 80. It's his mum and dad's in a town. You're working? Hmm, work experience. I've been here the week. I can't wait till next week for three. Do we do much with him? Um, no. Mum and dad will be at home too. Oh, right. Uh, what, what do we do then? Um, tea, toast. We have to keep the gloves. Um, we have to wash up. And we have to go into the bins. Right. I'll do the tea. I'll move the toast with me. Alright. Oh, I'm loving my work experience. Yeah. It's not boring at all. All the old ones have me in feet to call in the Blue Reads for Guy. <laughs> it's brilliant. Hi, guys. Hi. And you, Jack. What's up? I don't really like it though. It's only two weeks, I need to stop moaning. Get along with it like everyone else is. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oh, you alright? You've just built some turf. Oh, don't worry about it. Just make sure you mop it up. And we're really health and safety conscious here, so if anything does happen, just log it in the accident book, alright? Okay. Oh, and before you go. Uh, there you go, that's for you. What's this for? Um, we shared a tip to Miss Williams gave us a tenner, so that's yours. Oh, thanks. Okay. Jake's had a fall. Oh, he'll get over it. Mum! Wow, we'll 
we is a lad we all take knocks her. He could be scarred for life. Oh, ever the drama queen. Do it, my head in. What was Burke saying today? Is it all right? They just said to get on with it because he's marking my assessment, so. Well, it's probably right, you know. We all need something to fall back on when we leave. You can't just leave with nothing. Anyway, I'm off to the pub. Hello. What's happening? Oh, Jake fell over and work and hurt his leg. Did he put it in the accident book? What's that? It's a book and you have to put accidents in it. Oh, is that weird? He told me about that today. Every place has got one. You should tell someone. You told him to get on with it yesterday. Fell in works, showed me his false eye the other day. He said if he hadn't reported it, he wouldn't have got compensation. <laughs> <laughs> so you realise now that you can't just get on with it? Yeah, I was wrong. What, what is the site? Health and safety executive. Look, it says any injury at work, including minor injury, should be recorded in the employer's accident book. That book. Also, it says by reporting an accident, it helps the employer to see what's going on wrong and take the action and stop the accidents in the future. Well, wow, Jake's boss hasn't done that, has he? Should be grassed up, man. <laughs> Jake, look at this. I forget about it. No, that hotel supervisor has to put things right. I'll just get on with it. Jake, I was wrong, man. It's only two weeks. But Jake, it can happen to anybody. I need to get good marks for myself. This is more important. Jake! <laughs> Alright, how's your legs today? It's a bit better. Ah! What's the matter? Nothing. Did you do that here? Does he know Benson? Yeah. Have you told anyone? No, he said that if I did then he'd give me a bad assessment mark. I can't let my mum and dad down. Uh, is there an accident book here at all? Um, no. We need to tell someone, if not for us, but people who are working here in the future. Come on. Hey guys, I've just been giving this letter by the head teacher. Yeah? You know that workplace with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you reported them, they're having to change the health and safety policy now. You guys have got to be commended. Fantastic. Letters from the British Safety Council, and they're pretty much saying thanks for reporting them. Well done. Speak up, Stacey! <laughs> <laughs>